Hello viewers, welcome to this tutorial video. I will be showing you how to reference your article using Text Studio. Have you been wondering how to automatically generate a reference in your article? If you're watching this video tutorial, this is the best tutorial video for you. Okay, let's dig in. So, this is actually a sample code that I've just created for my article. Uh, here we have the document class. I'm using the IT per e trans. And it's very important to note here that the package we're using to cite our article is the use package site. I haven't saved my work before, so we're just going to save it now. You can save it anywhere on the PC. Let's say we're saving it on the on our desktop. We can just give it a name document.txt. It must end with the extension .txt, guys. Save. Okay. Now I haven't referenced my document. I haven't referenced any article yet. So when what happens when we try to run this, guys? Let's 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 build this and view how it the output shows. So when we do this, it processes exited with errors. Why? Um. Uh, okay, it actually exited with error because we're using this bibliography, this bibliography, and we haven't passed in the the reference the reference uh, the reference file that we have to create. So what we need to do is we first of all need to create another file called I don't know. Let's say reference on pip. So we just say Control N to create a new file. Then we say save. We save as uh, Control S. Let's save it on the desktop. Let's just say use the name referencing references dot dot peep references dot peep. Guys, must make sure this same name that is here must be the same name that we're going to use in our in our document when we're creating our our article. So, just copy this name and you save it. Just save it on the desktop. Okay, so. What we how how do we save how do we uh, uh, reference this? You just need to come to the bibliography. You can just say uh, uh, full stop and forward slash. This actually tells the LaTeX to to whatever direction or wherever uh, directory that we're saving. In this case, in the desktop. So we just paste the the name of that file that pip file we created here. So well, how do we save? How do we actually cite our article? To cite our article, we we can do it by saying using the this command backslash cite curly braces. Then we here inside this curly braces, as you can see, we need to paste in the ID of that article we are we were citing or we're referencing. So if an article that we want to cite, like for instance. Most often I use ResearchGate or I, res I use IEEE or Google Scholar. In this case, we're just going to use Google Scholar. So let's just let's just use this this uh, this article, guys. Let's search. This is on Google Scholar. Okay, when you search this on Google Scholar, you find there is these two. It's like a comma, two commas, like yeah, you can see it here. So you click on it. There is this option down which says beep text. You click on it. Okay. Now it opens up the the code, the beep the beep text code. So we just need to copy this stuff, guys. We just need to copy this stuff and paste it in the folder which we created here. The reference.beep file. References.beep file. So we just paste it here. We make sure guys we copy this name. This is what we're going to pass into our site function in our document. So we copy this name just exactly as it is. Then we paste it here. We paste it here, guys. So now what happens when we when we build and, and run this our file? Let's 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 see what happens. Okay. It shows us some errors. This error is because we haven't we didn't run if you didn't run this this references.peep. So to run this dev references.peep, if you are using text studio guys, 
when you come to tools here you find uh, bibliography uses the command f8 so if you punch f8 okay process exited normally there are no errors you punch it as many times as you can guys make sure you generate the necessary files that are going to be used by our document so when you do this yeah it's done so when we come here now we are about to use this this uh, this reference what we need to do now we need to run the file again we need to build it and view and run the file so let's head in and see what shows what it shows okay bam so yeah we have our references guys as easy as that so at times you might find it difficult to 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 for it to reflect here so you need to make sure you run this like you you punch f8 as many times as possible when they are not errors make sure you hit them as many times as possible and when you come to your document file or your document you just uh, come to build and view guys and bam you have your document here as easy as that guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope this uh, video was helpful for you in case you find it helpful guys please leave a comment in the comment section and please don't forget to like and share this video